We're just grateful that you're watching. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Late Late Show. Thanks for staying up with us. Let's have a look and see who our guests are on the show tonight. He is a Grammy-nominated stand-up comedian, podcast host, star and creator of F is for Family on Netflix and The Moral Compass on Roku. The always hilarious, arguably one of the funniest people on planet Earth right now, Bill Burr. He's on the show tonight. There he Hello, is. Hey, how are you? How are you, Bill? You Thank well? you for reminding me of my Grammy loss. <laughs> I, 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 didn't, I didn't write he that He was bit. this close. <laughs> Sorry. We do do that a lot, Rob. We do say, you know, this person was nominated. I've never, ever thought what it feels like to be reminded of that Brought moment. me right back to that moment. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to bomb when I get out there. I'm going to be so sad. It's very... This is what you do to your guests? <laughs> I do, I do think you he's... You know, got... I flunked math in 11th grade. You could have brought that up, too. <laughs> Ruined my summer. I had to go to summer school. No, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm no, excited to make, be here. I think you make a very valid point. I do, I do. It's like saying Grammy loser. Well, don't make it worse, Rob. <laughs> no. I like that guy. <laughs> There's so little honesty in the world. Just hit it. <laughs> That's it. Grammy loser, Bill Burr, on the show tonight. <laughs> Well, you're a winner in our eyes, Bill, and that's the truth of it. Oh, God, that was worse than losing the Grammy. <laughs> you're always welcome here, Bill, when the rest of show business won't have you. I don't, I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. Rob, he likes you. He doesn't like me. You get in there. What's, what are you going to say? Go on, you insult him again, Rob. Just, just go and say something really bad. Bill Burr, everybody. <laughs> Bill Burr, everybody. <laughs> All right, thank you. I'll see you in a few. And he is a talented actor, writer, producer, you know, from AP Bio Fargo, and it's always sunny in Philadelphia. The mighty Glenn Howerton is here tonight. Yeah. Oh, hi. Glenn, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. How nice to see you. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. Hey, listen, um, I got food in here. I got snacks. I got drinks. Do you, do you need anything when I come out, or...? I, can I be honest? Yeah. I, I would like a drink. Okay. I normally have a drink on a Thursday. I've realized I haven't. I'm going out tonight. So, yeah, a little, um, a little tequila on the, on, the, on the rocks would be beautiful. Tequila rocks. Mm. Okay, you got it, pal. What a guy. Glenn Howerton, everybody. And later in the show, we've got music from Megan Trainer. so stick around for that. <laughs> M-Train. M-Train. Here we are, night five. Night five of Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah to all who celebrate. <laughs> night five in. How do we celebrate? How do we, what are the plans for the weekend? How do we celebrate the last few nights? What do we do? The only way to wind down the last couple of nights of Hanukkah is by C going to CC Pleasant's birthday. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it's going to be a dance a thon. CC's birthday. Yeah. It's going to go off. It's going to go off. Yeah. It's going to go off. Tom's, you're DJing, right, Tom? That's true. Um, please address me by my DJ name, DJ Cry for Help. DJ Cry for Hell. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. It's going to be huge. Yeah. It's going to go off. It really is. So then holiday party is next week? Week after? Next week. Next week? Next week? Yeah. When? Wednesday. Wednesday night. Whoa. Big. Topping off. Big party night Wednesdays. So can I make a prediction? I might, I might get absolutely off my nut. Yeah. <laughs> On Wednesday night. I don't know why, I can feel it, I can feel it. I gotta cut loose. <laughs> Dave, you gonna go off? You gonna go off Wednesday night? I'm going off on Saturday night, and then I'm going off again on Wednesday night. Yes, 100%, 100%. Yeah, I'm ready for it. I need to let loose, too. I'm gonna cut loose. Should we, I'm gonna, do you know what I think we should, you know what we should think we should do as a group? An absolute commitment to dance, right? Don't you think? Well, I think we've got... I've booked a DJ, right? Well, I've booked a DJ. Yeah, there's Tom, a DJ. feel free to spin some wax that night if you want to. <laughs> Honestly, don't be shy. We can, we can let that DJ go at any point. Louis, are you going to step on the decks? Yeah? Why not? Yeah? You going to step on the decks? Sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. Who's this guy? Who's this guy? <laughs> Who's this guy? You've got to give some consistency here. The audience don't know where they are with you. <laughs> last night, last night you were in sunglasses. You, you're laid back. You look like you've done, you know, you've eaten 15 weed gummies. Tonight, tonight you sort of look like a college professor who's wondering whether or not to DJ. Keep you on your toes, mate. Keep me on my toes? Yeah. 
What was the night you used to hold in London? The, the, the night, what was it called? Shimmy Shawobble. Shimmy Shawobble. <laughs> Blue used to have a night in London called Shimmy Shawobble. It was yeah. absolutely fantastic. Yeah. It really was a great yeah, night. I'll play some tunes. You do? You'll spin some wax. Yeah. Well, we've got a big weekend, big week next week, because we're doing the Christmas party the night of our thousandth show, right? So yeah. We're doing a <laughs> thousandth show on Wednesday, holiday party that night. Don't tune in Thursday. It's going to be an absolute washout. <laughs> Didn't you sleep here once after yeah. the holiday party? Yes, I did. Where did you sleep? I slept on the leather couch in the writer's room, <laughs> and I woke up at 4 a.m., and a bunch of the leftover pasta was still in the kitchen, and you've never seen someone eat so many calories so fast. <laughs> I was like someone packing bags in a hurry. Like... <laughs> <laughs> like someone, someone fleeing a country. Yeah. yeah. Like the, the... Just grab what you can! <laughs> The embassy was collapsing and there was one last helicopter out. And I was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, look, that's all to come. We can't make it to the weekend without doing what is our sacred duty as the nation's lone voice of reason <laughs> in, a, in an overpopulated, money-driven <laughs> news environment that is the United States of America, corporate conglomerates, pushing their agenda, this is the only place you will find the news. <laughs> what, you, what, you, what you drinking there, Steve? Uh, there's a lime in here. <laughs> uh, there's a little, little soda water in here. Mm. And just a weensy bit of vodka. Hey! <laughs> Just become a bunch of absolute degenerates. <laughs> hey, what's happened? Doesn't matter. We'll go across that. We'll burn that bridge another day. Uh, here is the news. Congress has until midnight tomorrow to pass a new resolution to keep the federal government funded. But Republican senators are threatening to delay the vote, which could cause a weekend shutdown of the government. Republicans have a very good excuse, though. It's because we don't want to. No. We're not... No. We're not doing it. No way. Actually, Republicans want to defund Biden's vaccine mandate, because, yeah, famously, Republicans hate telling people what to do with their bodies. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I understand this. I don't think I understand this. Republicans want unvaccinated employees to be able to work, so their solution is to not let government employees be able to work. Makes total sense, yeah. <laughs> In other news, the Biden administration is tightening up travel restrictions and are now extending the requirement for travellers to wear masks on airplanes, trains and buses through mid-March. This isn't fair, said the people who are the reason this is still happening. <laughs> Mask mandates for travellers will continue through March. So if you know any flight attendants, a great holiday gift might be uh, duct tape and a set of brass knuckles. <laughs> I'm going to wear a mask on airplanes forever. I think not for the health and safety, just because it adds to the mystery. <laughs> you know what I mean? I like the idea of sitting down. People are like, who's that? Who's that blue-eyed, blonde-haired Greek god? <laughs> oh, my God, I'm on a flight with either Chris Pine, Ryan Gosling... Is it James Corden? I don't know. <laughs> Moving on, the cereal company Kellogg's has reached a tentative agreement with union representatives, ending one of the nation's highest-profile labour disputes. Now they just need to hurry up and sign the agreement before it gets soggy. <laughs> it's a bit mushy. Kellogg's say it has a deal with the union that could end its two-month strike. The only flies in the ointment are Snap, Crackle and Pop, who are all <laughs> hard-line communists. <laughs> It's actually true. It's that's, that's not... I know that sounds like a joke. That's genuinely true. <laughs> I'm glad to hear this dispute with Kellogg's is getting resolved. I'm so sick of eating off-brand pelican fruit circles. <laughs> What's the most overrated breakfast food for you? Waffles. Yeah, I'm with yeah. you on that. Yeah. yeah. 
I'm going to go. Oh, boo yourself. <laughs> Perturbed. Yeah. It's no, I'm with you. Yeah, I'm with you. I also, and I know I'm in America, I know it's not my place to say this, I know I'm a guest here, and I'm very grateful for everything this country's given me. <laughs> Pancakes. Yes. Not, I don't, not for me. I agree. Don't like it. Oh, I, hang here's on. what I think. Wait up. Oh, wait God. up. Wait up. Here it comes. <laughs> Professor Weymouth's got something to throw into this. I, I just want to pitch something. I want to Go pitch on. something. I think, I think we should eat dessert for breakfast. Yeah. What I'm saying is that we're already, we're flirting with it anyway. Yeah, you're right. We're flirting we are. with it. We are. Why not just come out and just do it? Just do it. Just have a dessert for breakfast. Have apple pie. Ice cream. ice cream and just admit what you want. Yeah. And then you've got the rest of the day to work it off. To go savoury. Yeah, do what you want, you know. I don't know if I want... I mean, look, I've had ice cream for breakfast. Sure. I don't... <laughs> but I don't know if I'm going to be like, ooh... But cool, sugary cool house. milk... Oh, let's have that Cool House, ice molten cream. brown... Jesus, my favourite ice cream. But I don't know if I'm going to want it at breakfast time, you know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, prick, so. I, I want to go down this road, but I feel like society has brought us to where dessert is at the end of the day for a reason. I don't know what it is. Like, I, I just need to be able to look at myself in the morning and know I didn't just eat, like, a quarter of a pie. <laughs> you know what the pancake solution is? Go on. The pancake solution is you go out to breakfast with a few people, you get a plate of pancakes for the, the table. table. For the table. For the table. Yep. Like, it, a, like, 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 so, like, the equivalent of a, of a bowl of fries. Yes. Yes. And then you dip in, you know, you're like, ooh, a little bit of pancake, just enough, back to your omelet, Thank back you. to your scramble. Back to the avocado on toast. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. What we're saying is pancakes should never be ordered solo. They are solely for the table, and that's it. <laughs> Done. Thank you. Did everybody hear about this? There's a new sexual meditation app called Guided by Glow <laughs> that brings, it's true, that brings <laughs> listeners to orgasm by inducing them into a state of extreme relaxation. This is true after breathing exercises, the narrator instructs the listener to start sensually touching themselves. So it's a phone sex line. That's what it is. It's. Uh, <laughs> It's a phone sex line. That's what it is, yeah. An app for achieving orgasm. I, you know, I don't use it. I use the Paramount Plus app. <laughs> I do. Blue Bloods. Oh, wow. I don't watch it. I just listen to it. <laughs> it's called Guided by Glow, and it allows users to sink into a deeply relaxed state simply by pushing play and allowing the app to help block out all of the noise from your husband's Call of Duty game in the next room. <laughs> and here's something fun for people who love the movie Home Alone. The iconic house from the movie will be available to rent on Airbnb for one night this month. Honestly, you have me alone. <laughs> Where do I sign up? Here's some photos from the listing. Look at that. The house looks exactly the same. I haven't seen anything in Hollywood aged that well since Paul Rudd. <laughs> if you miss out... Don't worry, if you miss out on staying at the Home Alone house for one night, Airbnb is also offering fans a one-day-only chance to cook meth in the house from Breaking Bad. <laughs> and finally, a European robotics company is offering $200,000 for your face. It's true, the company will pay you for the rights to use your face on their newest robot. Which, honestly, is better than the future I imagined. <laughs> but the one I imagined, the robots just sort of hold you down and rip your face off anyway. <laughs> Pretty great offer. The only catch is the robot will take over your entire life and eventually make love to your spouse. <laughs> They'll give you $200,000 for the rights to your face. Anyway, long story short, next week's shows will all be hosted by the all-new Electro Cordon 5000. <laughs> No. 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 I, I appreciate the applause. I know you're being supportive. <laughs> that graphic in no way warranted what... I mean, that is... <laughs> Can, yeah, no, I've got to ask here. At 3pm today, they were like, oh, the graphic's not ready, we're still working on it. <laughs> working on what? <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> what level?
level of work did that take? <laughs> it's a terrible way to go out on a Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Cancel the holiday party, it's done. <laughs> we'll be right back with more of the Late Late Show, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>